I was addicted to diet soda. I was drinking 15 to 20 a day, and I weighed over 400 pounds. If I wanted more pop, I got more pop. If I wanted more video games, I got more video games. I knew what I was doing to myself was truly killing me. Losing 200 pounds seemed so astronomically impossible. I was like, you know what? I'm doing this right now. I remember stepping on the scale down 50 pounds, looking at myself in the mirror and being like, you can do this. So we are back at my old high school and this is the football stadium where I spent a lot of time screaming in the stands. I was too big to even play football. By the time I was 18, a senior in high school, I weighed over 410 pounds. I mean, I, I had a lot of friends in high school. I was the funny fat kid that would jump on people and whip my boobs at people. I was just a goofball. I put on a face to make it look like I had my life together even though it wasn't. I was bigger than everybody else. I was given sunshine and rainbows of an infinite no checks to life. If I wanted more pizza, I got more pizza. If I wanted more pop, I got more pop. If I wanted more video games, I got more video games. And that was just the, the reality. I was pre-diabetic, had super high blood pressure. Not even my best friend Phil from high school knew how dark my situation was and how I looked at myself. There were a lot of jabs at David uh, about his weight, but he did, he always seemed to kind of brush them off and you know, I admired that. I would eat almost in co a Costco sized bag of Reese's almost every day, like a 24 pack every single day. A typical Friday night would involve going to Buffalo Wild Wings. He would have 24 wings and a, a platter of fries. And then by nine o'clock, you know, he'd be wanting to go to Taco baby. Bell or <laughs> Applebee's and, and have a whole nother meal. It would be common for him to put down eight to 12 sodas in, in, in a an night, evening. Nice man, yeah. yeah. Diet Coke was his drug of choice. The amount that he put down per day was sickening. <laughs> I was addicted to diet soda. I was drinking 15 to 20 a day. It's crazy to think that like, back when I was in high school, when I'm playing video games, I'm out here just, each video game, when I'm done, I'd crank out a 12 pack of Diet Coke in a matter of three hours. And like, that was, that was a normal thing for me to do. I'd hide the Diet Coke cans so my parents didn't know how many I was drinking. When you're drinking this amount of Diet Coke, all the synthetic sugar is just, it makes you feel hungry and it just makes you feel like crap. There's a little, little Reese's peanut butter cup for you. <laughs> I still do eat them on occasion. I'm not gonna say I don't, but I don't eat them at the same level as I used to. I would eat 30 to 40 of those bad boys. The biggest thing for me was the idea of looking at losing 200 pounds seemed so astronomically impossible. So I never really tried. And I never really looked at myself of just saying, hey, you gotta change who you are. So when I was 22, I was in my junior year of college and I read a book called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. I don't know, it just changed the way I saw myself. That book was like, how do you lose 200 pounds? You lose two pounds a week for 100 weeks and you lose 200 pounds. I was like, I can do that. And by the time I hit about 50 pounds down, when I stepped on the scale, it was like the click. And I was like, I'm changing everything. Like the, holy crap, this is real and I never look back. I go to the gym five to seven days a week. 400 pound David would be dreading the gym right now because it's gonna be painful, it's gonna be fun, I'm gonna be sweaty, but today, I'm looking forward to it. Why? Because I choose to be. Woo! We're doing a full body. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, rowing, some sprints, we're gonna do some deadlifts. I was 410 pounds made the decision to really live an accountable life at 22. Lost about 150 pounds. So for me, the skin removal surgery was like, and I respect some people that they don't wanna do it. Like for me, it felt like a chapter ending decision. Like obese David is done. If you look at some of the before pictures, I just had really big droopy boobs and then this big flop stomach. And um, yeah, I mean, there's just no, when you're 400 pounds and you have these big old boobs, there's there's no amount of weight loss that's gonna get that off. That's just, there's surgery, it's the only option. S droopy skin was just holding me back to who I used to be, and it's like I'm not him anymore. 
What inspired me to do the bodybuilding show? I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to push myself. I did a bodybuilding show. 400 pound David couldn't even fathom losing 15 pounds. And I did a bodybuilding show. That, it was, so for me, it was just a new challenge. Come on, drive feet. We live in a very unique time where people are misconnecting body positivity and obesity. I understand we all need to be love our bodies, but loving our bodies also means respecting our body. And the food you eat, if you truly love yourself, you will do things that are treating your body with the respect it deserves. When you push your limit of what you think you can do, and you push beyond failure of what you think is failure, and you put out that 315 you've never done before, the brain just goes, I'm a champion, I can do anything. So someone who's obese watching this right now who wants to lose the weight, the number one thing to me is don't overcomplicate. I ain't gonna do it. These things aren't astronomically big decisions. It's about committing to just doing the small actions every day. Let's go!